Hello everyone, this is Yael from Yael Alchemy and I'm here to bring you the Twin Flame Weekly Reading for the week of March 9 to the 15th. Okay, well, we have full moon coming up tomorrow and the full moon is in Virgo, but is opposite Neptune and trine Jupiter. Okay, so that's going, that's bound to have an effect on us. I don't know about you, but the past couple of days leading up to the full moon, I have felt foggier than usual, um, despite efforts at, you know, sufficient sleep and all that. Uh, it's uh, like half being here on Earth and half not being all there. Uh, and uh, this full moon um, is going to continue the trend of um, confusion, deception, uh, things that are not quite that clear yet. But because there is slight influence of the Sun, and we have the positive aspects of Jupiter and Neptune um, affecting the full moon, then um, uh, that's going to get better, okay? Because, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I, I hope you're all keeping safe. This uh, this past week, all the coronavirus um, infections have ramped up all over the world. Okay, and it, it's very sad because um, while we look at the statistics for for ease of reference, perhaps. Uh, as a snapshot of how this uh, pandemic's going on, uh, behind each number there, there there is a story, there is a wrapping up of um, of their the record of their time here on Earth, especially those that have passed and have not recovered. Okay, so I hope that uh, you continue to to pray and send love and light to those who are affected by the coronavirus and you take the necessary precautions as well. Um, there, so now let's get on with the reading. Um, for those that are currently joining my channel, uh, this is the, this I call this the infinity spread. This is the Divine Masculine, this is the Divine Feminine, and you can see their energies interacting, intersecting with each other. And um, and usually I do pick a card in the middle just to tie them together. And for this week, um, after praying over the cards and shuffling, shuffling them and picking them out, we have here the Fool. And this is very apropos because we are heading into the astrological beginning of the year, which is the spring equinox. Okay, um, and so here we have the full card. So, along with the themes of purging, uh, each beginning, it, each ending, okay, uh, heralds this new beginning. So we are on for another journey, twin flames. And, uh, oh, very good, Nine of Cups. Yeah, because uh, this new journey you're embarking on, um, it, it's one in which uh, your heart's desires, okay, um, things, because this is the wish card, the Nine of Cups, uh, that's something that you are heading towards, okay. So go along um, that journey, uh, and make sure that your load is light, your heart is light, okay? And then, see here, we have the Three of Wands, and uh, this is actually, uh, this is a burgeoning of uh, creativity, okay? Looking forward to that day, wherein um, uh, this will come to pass. But because we live here in 3D, 
Um, there is saying even that, you know, yes, you pray to God, to source, but then you have to do the groundwork. Okay? And this is the, the passion, the creativity that needs to, um, it's like, it's your contribution if for insurance it'll be your like co-pay okay uh, in order to get to the fulfillment of this wish card and um, their spirit is saying just uh, forge on ahead uh, forge on ahead here okay and even if um, there are times where in look the horse is stumbling um, but the Knight of Swords, he's the fastest of all knights. So this is also caution that um, to look um, in your direction to that you're headed, to look at all the obstacles, and to make sure that the vehicle, which in this case is the horse, okay, in this card, but uh, as it applies to to us in our physical bodies that the vehicle is in tip-top shape so spirit is saying that go check your health okay especially um here uh the thing with the coronavirus is that uh <laughs> it's you don't know uh who the person in front of you has been in contact with and all this contact tracing happens in retrospect Okay, it only serves as a history, but it's not really preventive unless of those that are, you know, traced back as, um, are, you know, are isolated and quarantined. So, j just take the necessary precautions, even if it's within your family, you know, trusted people within the office again uh, you don't know the extent of how much they uh, took precautions not to be infected by those they came into contact with okay so uh, in other words be an advocate for yourself for your own health okay but still they are keep moving forward and that's as far as I'm going to read so this is a nice message so far uh, beginning the journey towards the fulfillment of your wishes and keep the enthusiasm keep the focus and um, but then again be aware of your surroundings of your body of your health so that you know it doesn't hamper this journey okay okay so now let's move on to the divine masculine i'm going to open all his cards first we have here the world card we have here the ace of coins we have here the knight of wands we have here the Seven of Swords. Okay, so let's start with the World card first. For the Divine Masculines, here, this indicates, this is a merging of, you know, being and spirit, physicality and spirit. So it looks like um, this is the culmination, this is like their graduation. They have reached a point, especially the Divine Masculines that I am speaking to. Okay, perhaps they have not found this channel, the whole Twin Flame community as of yet, uh, because they basically went on this journey solo and under the radar. Okay, but they've reached the point uh, wherein you can see here uh, this bird. Okay, so yeah, that is a message that um, the Divine Masculines have reached a point wherein um, they have that integration. Okay, meaning they've graduated already from level one of their ascension journey. And uh, that's why they're on to the next phase, which the Divine Feminines have been on for quite some time. Okay, and this is good news because uh, finally they raise their frequency higher. Um, and I will explain more about how that affects the Divine Masculine's life later on. Okay, 
see here. Now that spirit has pulled him up, um, up to to such an extent wherein um, uh, he is uh, whole. There is that that synergy, that integration. Look, he gets to start over with the Ace of Coins. Okay, and here this is manifestation in the physical plane. Okay, and so here he starts over again right but now with different foundations because he has uh, managed to integrate the spiritual side of him with the his physicality but this uh, while he has been excited remember in the past couple of readings very frustrated he wanted to do wanted to start right away that still continues in fact that frustration of the divine masculines. Uh, first, it was a frustration not being able to get out of a situation. Then it became a uh, frustration because uh, things weren't quite ready yet. Apparently, now they are. But the thing is, uh, he is so uh, raring to go that this could translate as being hot-tempered, hot-headed, um, for the divine ma masculines, very uh, short-tempered. Okay, uh, you can see here the Knight of Wands. He is very much um, uh, on the go, go, go. But then again, he is riding his horse uh, so fast, having no other destination in sight but to get to his goal. But the thing is, the terrain is still rocky as usual. And this is uh, a common misconception and um, pitfall of those who go on religious retreats. Okay? If you're a Catholic, I I'm sure other denominations um, have retreats also, religious retreats. But right now, for Catholics, uh, it's Lent. Okay, this this would be the 40 days before um, the Passion of the Christ. And uh, I draw on that experience because I am Catholic myself. Okay, so there, <clears throat> what I'm saying is that others who go on spiritual retreats, religious retreats, especially those from the Catholic faith, um, they feel themselves changed very much so there is a transformation um right after the retreat okay the thing is and this was um i remember one of the retreats we had in school um um we were cautioned by the priest the retreat master as saying that once you go out you know outside of the 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 hall where the retreat was held and um you may feel some frustration that the other people around you haven't changed because they did not go through the same experience as you did okay and I mentioned that because the divine masculine is uh, uh, this is the sort of mindset that he's getting into that you know he's discovered the new world Eureka and he's expecting everything and everyone to conform to that new version of the world that he is, has just discovered Okay, and uh, that's why, hence the hot-headedness, hence being short-tempered, uh, hence being prone to missteps and mistakes, and even being misunderstood by others. Okay, so, uh, Spirit's message here is, you know, the new world isn't going, going away, so... Uh, we love your enthusiasm, but, you know, uh, patience will favor you in the end. All good things come to those who wait, or who are at least careful when they tread their steps. Okay? And here, the last, um, <coughs> excuse me. The last card that we have for the Divine Masculine is the Seven of Swords. 
And this, and is look, this is the this is the thief. This is the deception card. This is the treachery card. Okay, and it seems like uh, here we have this man, presumably the divine masculine, running through the enemy camp. And you know all these swords are being thrown at him, but it looks like it's like his his thoughts from before that are negative, and he is you know just about running away from them. So here, this is the journey of the divine masculine towards authenticity. Okay, because here, this is a byproduct of his. Um, his um, his wholeness, his completion of this stage, at least, and uh, he he no longer wishes to live in the lie and the deception. Okay, and this is good news for those who have been in in uh, in karmic relationships that have outlived its purpose. Perhaps the karmic relationships for some of the divine masculines, the role of the karmic relationship was to bring the divine masculine to his truth. Again, it's, it is a matter of contrast, compare and contrast. Uh, if you have been served, um, let's say, if you haven't eaten in a Michelin-starred restaurant and uh, you have been eating, I know, home-cooked, uh, I don't know, pie, right? And you think that um, all this time pie is supposed to take like, like that. But that's because you haven't had a taste of the better pie, okay? And um, I just use that as an example, but a lot of home-cooked meals, okay, and desserts, taste absolutely great. Okay, so anyway, if now that he's had a taste of this new world, all these things, th these deceptions, um, uh, they won't do anymore it doesn't fit with him anymore and uh, there is a a, a, ru a rush a race to this authenticity that he wants to live by he wants to honor himself um, by honoring his truth and this was a very great um, epiphany for the divine feminines when it came Okay, the one it actually sparked the the hashtag I am a twin flame. Okay, so uh, we don't know. We'll see how this unfolds for the divine masculines. But uh, there, this is good news because uh, um, in this case, uh, then there's this big desire to live authentically. And to realize that those relationships um, that, yes, have caused a pain for the Divine Feminine, they have outlived its purpose, okay? And uh, what do we do when that happens? Usually you say thank you because they have helped you come to the experience, what you are experiencing at this very moment. Uh, and you embrace, you accept, and then you move forward in your own truth. So, that's for the Divine Masculines. And here, let's open the card for them. See here, we have this breathe. And this pertains to this hot-headedness, short-temperedness uh, um, as a beginning. He's like you know, discovering this new way of living, new way of being, and he feels like a conquistador. Um, but in while and while the intentions are very good, the execution leaves something to be desired because this kind of execution, even if it's coming from the heart and wanting everything to 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 to, to gel right away, for you know so that everything is smooth, uh, it may have some um, casualties, okay? Bystanders, 
for, you know, third-party casualties uh, because of this um, unbridled uh, enthusiasm to begin. And that's why Spirit is saying, you know, take a breath. Uh, the new world isn't going away. You are still going to be who you are. But there is a better way of handling this. So, there, as regards that fire, balance, balance it out. Okay, balance it out so that um, you don't affect anyone else adversely with this uh, short temperedness. Okay, so now let's go on. Oops, hold on. Let's move to the Divine Feminine. I'm going to open all her cards first. We have here the Ace of Wands, we have here the Two of Swords. The Four of Wands and the Judgment card. Okay, see, all beginnings. Ace of Coins, Ace of Wands, and the Fool card here at the bottom of the deck. But very good beginnings because this is where it's headed. So just a reminder, the Nine of Cups. So here, uh, Divine Feminine, very desirous. Of, um, of reaching this point wherein she can actually work for this uh, new phase that's coming to her life. If you remember my past few readings, uh, we're talking about the Divine Feminine being in a sort of um, a bind wherein uh, other people's interests, wherein there is conflict, there is tension. And here, because if she has done her work, okay, in the sense that she has listened to the advice of spirit and, you know, kept that balance, that's going to redound to her benefit. You can see here the Two of Swords. And this is uh, the Truce card. You can see both the swords are pointing downwards, meaning there's no offered hostilities, no offered negativity, but, you know, just keeping balance and perhaps turning a blind eye to, to minor infractions by those that she, who are involved in that situation, in that situational conflict or tension, okay? And here, uh, when she turns her blind eye, it's not out of um, feigned ignorance, but rather out of compassion. Okay, it's like letting it slide, not because you are enabling, but because you have a deeper understanding and uh, fueling the, uh, the flames um, won't do any good. But this Keeping in the middle, this um, status quo, so to speak, no brash um, actions or not being very reactive. Look, she's going to reap the harvest from that. Here we have harmony, happiness, cooperation. And um, if this is coming this week, then that's uh, very good. Okay, so this is finally paying off uh, with this, the harmony, cooperation, happiness, and you can see that there is an understanding of how you both can support each other to make this, you can see this almost like a canopy, <clears throat> okay, or in, well, the harvest is pouring down. So this is the Divine Feminine. Um, leading energetically for all parties in the situational conflict to come into a win-win situation. And that is the harvest. And here, the last card is the judgment card. Now, uh, coming after um, here, the, the Four of Wands. Now, here, look, uh, let me explain this. Because the judgment card... Um, while it presents a choice in this particular reading, 
what this is saying is that the divine feminines in absorbing everything you can see here this is like unbridled um enthusiasm motivation wanting it's the, the desire but she had to suppress that will for the long-term good okay in order to get this benefit but then again all that energy that has been suppressed okay uh, it needs an outlet and this is where the judgment card comes in because this speaks about catharsis okay uh, this is the, the, the it's, it's like the Burning Man Festival. Uh, while there is, um, while there is, um, a tendency to lay blame on others for, uh, what has gone on so far, okay, this is, uh, accepting your participation in it and then releasing that fear that uncertainty remember I was telling you that in the past few weeks uh, there those those emotions uh, being unclear being confused uh, and then um, having that ramp up to uh, fear of uncertainty okay whether it's caused by uh, various things Okay, uh, your, 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 the security of home, family, relationships, and, um, this is the catharsis, the release of that confusion, that fear, okay, because, uh, it cannot, what you have absorbed while standing strong and standing your ground and not uh, not allowing the negativity to to rule the situation or to be the predominant energy in the situation there is an impact you because you absorb all that but it has to be released okay and uh, in some cases um, you call on the silver violet flame to to help transform, but in other cases, uh, it has to be I don't know. Take up a sport. Take up a. There has to be a um, a concomitant physical action that will uh, help you release this energy and so that it doesn't spring upon you and surprise you later on so and that's a way of balancing it out too now let's look for the, at the card of the divine feminines okay we have the y card okay and here you can see this woman and she's looking at it looks like a book from her uh from the um, Hall of Records in the Kashuk Library. Uh, actually, it looks like, well, minus the wings. Uh, whenever I do the couples of Kashuk Records readings, yeah. And uh, so there, here, uh, there's a lot of question why. Why she had to go through this experience, that experience in her life why she had to uh if the twin flame relationship hadn't hasn't come to fruition yet or she hasn't gotten into physical uh union yet with her twin flame then there would be questions of why there there's questions of why are you born to this family <laughs> why are why couldn't you be you know because if we had our fair pick <clears throat> of experiences prior to incarnation because you 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 especially us were volunteers right so you volunteered to be in this situation so the why is uh most possibly uh better answered by you and uh yeah sometimes whenever i do ask this question uh it's like i feel so uh, I, I almost like berate myself for picking this situation 
that, that I'm in because it's so difficult. But then again, that's why you picked it because it was difficult and it was at par with your uh, where you your spiritual level, so to speak. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, there are questions of why uh, these things had to happen, and that is part of what um, has to be released. Okay, uh, in order to start anew, this everything that is um, that is already in the past that you might possibly resent has to be transmuted, has to be transformed, and the first step in doing that is to accept. It's like the serenity prayer. God grant me the strength to change the things that I can. Uh, oh gosh, I forgot. Uh, and to accept the things that uh, I can't change and the wisdom to know the difference. So basically, that's serenity prayer. But this week, uh, as part of your release and your catharsis, is you're being bound to to the answer why. Okay, to the point that you feel um, entitled to 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 these answers. But everybody deserves an answer. But because you are expecting a different outcome. Um, this release <clears throat> is better served with acceptance of why things are the way they are. doesn't necessarily uh, mean that that's, that situation is never going to change. But the acceptance makes it easier for you to move forward. Okay? So... Uh, there, accept your limitations, accept all that has happened to you, accept your circumstances of your life as they are now, and um, all those answers are going to, to find you, okay? Because when you push and push and push for answers, okay? Why, 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 why? And the universe just keeps hearing the questions, you don't give space for the universe to give you the answers. So, you need to accept. Uh, accept um, the things, how things are for now. And then, when you're at peace with that, answers will come and movement forward will come. Okay, so there. So that's what we have for both twins this week. I'm going to pick a card in the middle. Oh, yeah, I'm picking a card from here. Yeah, for the both of them. See here, we have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups uh, indicates this is a cause for celebration. Okay, and uh, three is all... It's, remember, it's one of the more stable numbers, and it's with the Three of Pentacles creating the third energy. It's like this, it's creating the third heart. Okay, so you have the Three of Cups here, but in this particular deck, which uh, I've been guided to use, you can see here this man, he's painting, <coughs> excuse me, no, I don't have a fever, so I don't, um, and I haven't gone out, really. I've been careful, so I don't have, hopefully, COVID. Anyway, so here we have this master painter, and he's painting this canvas of uh, three women toasting each other. Um, by the way, it is Women's uh, International Women's Month, so to all the strong divine feminines out there, happy Women's Month, okay? But, but let's get back to this card. You can see here three women toasting each other in celebration of each other or celebrating something, but this card is still of a man painting that situation, meaning that this situation of uh, revelry, of happiness, is still in the works, okay? Because, look, both twins are still at the beginning of this different stage, right? 
And this is, um, although it's like the celebration there is not yet uh, made manifest, it is something that you can look forward to. Because, and okay, this is what happens when I cut it here. It's still made manifest because in this beginning, because here we have the wish card that is something to look forward to. But in the meantime, Spirit is guiding us how to have a hassle-free and the best takeoff possible for this um, phase of your journey. Okay, so that's what I have for everyone, and I hope this helps. Uh, do check out my website for if you need assistance with reading or healings. Uh, do check out my website, and, um, and I would appreciate you for it. Okay, it would be my pleasure to help you out in your journey. Um, that's it. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you.